Industrial hemp is catching on in a big way, and farmers in the east are taking notice. WNTT's Dylan Huffman spent the day with a farmer in Kinston who says the cannabis plant he grows will be a billion dollar industry in the next five years. Yeah, the cannabis that this farmer grows has the same benefits as pot, but without the high. It's the same plant, it just does not produce high amounts of THC. Gator Williams has been a tobacco farmer his whole life, but he says that industry is slowly going downhill. So he took a new direction, growing industrial hemp, which is a legal form of cannabis. He's got 60,000 plants on his Lenore County farm. They take the oils from the plant and use them for medical purposes. Gator says they can help things like diabetes, ADHD, and even pain. And for him, he has a personal connection. A back injury a few years ago left him heavily dependent on prescription painkillers. I needed to make a life change. So he did, and he says he wants to help others. It's one of the, the main things that drove me to this industry, not only the passion to grow the plant and produce something that help people beneficially medically uh, but to help the local farmers have a commodity that was profitable again. Gator says they don't waste any part of the plant. What isn't used for medical reasons is turned into all kinds of things including paper or clothes. The Declaration of Independence was written on hemp paper so we're not reinventing the wheel. We're just reestablishing the wheel. And as leaders on Capitol Hill look to pass the farm bill, we're close to getting it done to give our farmers and ranchers the predictability and the certainty that they need. Gator says if it passes, farmers will have a clear idea of what they can and can't do with this plant, and they will have a better chance to succeed, which for his family would mean everything. I don't even know how to put it into words, to be honest with you. It's, it's a great honor and opportunity to be involved with this industry. And Gator says one problem that he has seen is people actually trying to steal the product. If you are caught, it is a felony and police treat it as if it is actual marijuana. In Kinston, Dylan Huffman at 9 on your side.